low back pain yeah. lbp so low back pain is because of the diseases in the lumbar spine again the lumbar vertebrae are much bigger than what you have in the cervical and thoracic they have these big discs in between them and fortunately the good thing about the lumbar spine is the spinal cord ends at l1 so there is no spinal cord in most of the lumbar spine it's uh-huh. only the nerve roots but the higher the disease the more the likelihood of involvement uh, neurological involvement mm. the problem with the th- lumbar spine is that when we evolved from four legged animals and we suddenly became two legged mm-hmm. animals the lumbar spine did not have enough time to adapt ah so therefore it has become a very weak part of our spinal anatomy ah. and is very prone to disease wow so this is why low back pain is such a common problem in human beings wow added to this is the problem that we have become very sedentary and we don't do anything specifically to strengthen our spines so sedentary lifestyle causes low back pain yes indeed inactivity also mm-hmm. and many of the strength training routines if you look at them they focus on upper body lower body nobody focuses so much on spine spine ah. it's really important in today's day and age given our current lifestyles that we have to focus on core and spine strengthening exercises so the lumbar spine lordosis the most common problem in the lumbar spine is the lower lumbar spine because that's where the majority of the body weight is acting mm. so the last disc in the lumbar spine l5 s1 in some people it's l45 f- but mm. predominantly l5 okay. s1 is highly prone to degeneration wear and tear and disease um, wow and uh, i believe it or not while i was big i have my waist circumference was like um around 102 cm okay the first symptom i had at least one discomfort i had was low back pain low back pain and when that waist circumference started decreasing the my pain improved significantly yes so belly fat is one of the main risk factor for low back pain yeah so what happens is because like like i mentioned the lumbar spine does not have any support uh-huh. the only thing that's supporting the lumbar spine is the muscles the paraspinal muscles and when you have a lot of weight in front it's literally pulling on your spine and the extra weight is also adding to the loading of the discs uh-huh. so what we call axial loading axial loading means load which goes along the spine along the axis of the spine that causes wear and tear of the discs and degeneration rapid degeneration So unfortunately now I'm seeing teenagers come to me with lumbar disc disease teenagers teenagers usually in the pre in the past you must have seen around 40 50 years of age then so i think the age is becoming younger it's uh, advancing to the wrong direction uh, so wrong we're direction. seeing it in younger and younger people now earlier typically we used to see it in the 30s and the 40s, 40s. usually somewhere in midlife uh, uh, when uh, you get the first symptoms of back pain correct correct um uh, that's happening now a little more early So sedentary lifestyle leads to belly fat which is causing low back pain which Physical is a combination of activity all that adds to it smoking is also another risk factor for back pain smoking smoking yes. can cause back pain yes because it is just combined with all the other stuff partly that also the discs in the lumbar spine have very poor blood supply Ah. smoking so the, decreases the blood supply yes so it causes microangiopathy ah. blockage of the tiny blood vessels diabetes also causes yeah. that ah. so all even diabetics have a higher chance of developing spine disease i have seen it in my practice i don't know whether it's there in it's literature reported. i don't mm-hmm. think so but i do see a lot of diabetics coming with low back pain so in diabetes there is a um, in diabetes there is micro deposition of blood clots in the micro capillaries surrounding the kidneys causing diabetic nephropathy eyes diabetic retinopathy polyneuropathy neuropathy similar to that can cause low back pain yes fascinating microangiopathy uh-huh. so because of all these uh, blood clots there is decreased blood supply to the brain uh, i think uh, blood clots and maybe also accelerated atherosclerosis accelerated atherosclerosis mm-hmm. in diabetes wow because i think tri i don't know whether this is right or not i'm not a physician but triglyceride transport is impaired in diabetes no because of insulin resistance yes yes yeah. yes 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 this is something that i i'm uh, very aware of um because you know if you look at indian population we are not very high in ldl that much triglycerides is the culprit <laughs> it's a triglyceride and the hdl ratio yes that's the key You no know, there is as you know the multiple research studies says that triglyceride hdl ratio more than 2 increases the risk of heart disease more than 4 increases the risk of stroke and heart attack more commonly if you look at the lipid parameter of any indian community most of the times 
triglycerides to HDL ratios more than four. Hmm. Because look at the numbers, triglycerides because of the carb diet is usually on the higher side. It's two fifty, three hundred sometimes. Yeah. HDL because of lack of exercise, it's only thirty. Two hundred, three hundred by thirty is easily more than four. Correct. And what happens is, this is very fascinating as well. Uh, that while the triglycerides is high, there is a transmembrane fatty acid reflex is impaired. So it affects the hormone adiponectin. I see. Which is right there in the subcutaneous fat. and that is why it's just a recipe for disaster for all the combinations together belly fat decrease adiponectin increase triglycerides decrease hdl leading to insulin resistance mm. leading to your hypertension diabetes what what the patient sees is oh my glucose level is high but there are so many things that needs to happen i made a reel that the disease i fear the most is diabetes diabetes <laughs> <laughs> of course it affects everything yeah it affects everything yeah Wow, uh, I mean that's a wonderful thing. I've never thought about diabetes causing decreased blood supply to the spine, causing low back pain. But uh, that suppose has to be true um, based on uh, how the disease acts itself.